Near the election, our state capital bureau chief, Vanessa Kelson, is talking with significant minority voter communities across the state about the most important issues for them this election. Latinos are Wisconsin's largest minority group. In this next installment of Battleground Wisconsin, I spoke with some of the state's Latino voters who make up about 5% of the state's eligible voters. Hey, hey, Cayetano, saludos, buenas tardes. Voces de la Frontera is a Milwaukee-based advocacy group. Actually, today, you know, I've called about 82 people within the last hour. This pair working with Voces to turn out the Latino vote for Harris. Saying that immigrants are here eating dogs and cats is something that does not sit well with the immigrant community. Clarifying that the border and immigration are not the only issues for these voters. So I think people assume that we're just for one issue, but in reality, we have a whole, you know, just a lot of issues, you know, that affect us. At Fiesta Las Margaritas in Watertown, patrons are mixed in their support for both candidates. It's a good uh, idea for the economy, Trump. But for the immigration, uh, we feel like uh, he want to stop, you know, people coming in. Cacho Vega, remodeler and roofer, says while he can't vote, both of his sons have decided on Harris. Camara, because we know Trump already, you know. So we're going to see something, to see if he's something changed. In Madison, at the Centro Hispano Market, the nonpartisan org Leaders Igniting Transformation is working to register voters. These pledge to vote cards, if they fill out the PTV, they get free tacos. On the other side of the market, Erica Palacios is selling handmade llamas from Peru. ¿De cuál de ellos quieres? Este. Este. As a newly naturalized citizen, this will be her first time voting in a U.S. election. It's a blessing. Do you have your mind made up for who you're going to vote for? Not yet. To be honest, not yet. She says how the candidates respond to the hurricanes in Florida will decide her vote. We need a person that needs to know what to do, when to do it, and how to do it. Republicans see an opening with Latino voters. This summer, the state's Republican Party opened a new Hispanic community center in Milwaukee. Meanwhile, groups like Voces de la Frontera continue to do extensive grassroots outreach on behalf of the Democratic ticket. For now, in Madison, Vanessa Kelson.